Let's bloody hide, hide. Pilliga National Park. That damn wood it needs to be. Welcome back to the channel again today. I don't know about you, but my shed gets to the point where there is just crap everywhere and I've got to spend, I spent most of the night last night in here cleaning everything up, just organizing and putting away oils and tools and just crap after months of uh, doing work in here. So it's uh, looking pretty good now. So long story short, I got a call like two days ago from a courier saying, hey, I've got, um." this massive box for you um where do you want me to drop it and i was didn't really know what he was talking about to begin with i, I had no idea what he was on about and then i um yeah i was like right okay no worries so i jumped in the 78 the old f250 drove it out the front and um yeah this massive box with the bush company written on the front of it so i had no idea what was uh actually going on so we go ahead and get the uh box cutter out so I had a bunch of you send me uh, messages and stuff on Instagram making sure that I was all good here at the property after the last video I posted up um, with all the flooding and stuff going on so flooding is now receding thank God um, yeah it was getting to the point where it was actually doing a lot of damage and has done a lot of damage around the property so there's uh, plenty of weeks for me on the uh, machinery to get all that stuff fixed up. So, but anyway, F trucks out. Here's this giant, massive box from the Bush Company. It's handy having machinery like this sometimes. Okie dokie. So, it's not. It's not that heavy, it's just awkward, the size of it. I'm gonna have to push it over that way. Have to move these mats. Try and lay it down. Okay, so I've lifted the uh, box out with the forklift. Satisfying unboxing of a Bush Company product. Whatever it is, is black. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm freaking excited right now. Bush Company, Bush Company rooftop tent, a new one. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm freaking speechless. I can't get over like the detail and the quality of this thing. Wow. All right, let's uh, let's stop messing around here. You guys can see the quality of this thing.
That is insane. Running orange, orange powder coat on this tent instead of the red. So the red must be for the alpha, maybe, or like look at the quality of the welding, the folds, these custom hinges, this custom handle. No way. <laughs> Guys, I was not expecting this. Oh, look at the new extrusion. Sweet. I tell you what, this is like, I love, I love my Black Series tent that I already have on the truck. But this, like the quality and how far the Bush Company has come, like this is just, there is no tent, no tent on the market right now of this quality and attention to detail like this is just next level so you got a fully black um, powder coating it looks it, it nearly is identical to the ebony black that we use um, on the canopy and the tray with mitts You've still got your extrusion rail up here, so you use it as a roof rack, which is really cool. But you've got all these mounting slots now in the side for attaching your, your awning and stuff. I know that I do have an awning coming from the Bush Company, but I wasn't expecting this tent. Like these custom fabricated hinges. Really cool. All right, let's get this thing open and have a look inside. Okay, so I've just turned the tent around. I've still got it on the forklift here underneath the carport. But I've gone and grabbed the Polaris, thrown the winch up and over the carport, and I'm gonna use it to uh, lift, the, lift the tent open. So I don't have to lift it and try and hold it open and put the struts on and stuff. So just got a um, soft shackle here. I'm gonna put around the handle of the, the tent and then just slowly just lift it up to open it enough to get the, uh, the stuff out from inside. Um, I have done a video of this before, putting on the gas struts and all the rest of it um, on my old Bush Company tent. So you can check out that video if you want to see a full kind of install. But I'm just gonna wrap this soft shackle around here then just hook the thing to it and just lift it up and open it. Got it hooked up now, I'm just gonna lift this up and. We'll have a look inside this new sweet tent. So we've got the winch on the Polaris. And everything's muddy. Ah, oh, that works fantastic. Get rid of that bungee cord. Looks like to be the same, the uh, same style of canvas and stuff as my current tent. So this must go to the bottom now, maybe. Oh yeah, it goes to the bottom now instead of up the top. So your bungee cord goes down the bottom. Because I don't think there's a there's not a real lip there for it to sit in like the last tent. Still got your, your rain fly, which I love. Love that rain fly. We'll uh, keep going up now. So that's probably about it there, I'd say. Canvas is all nice and tight. What do we got inside here? So we've got a bag and we've got our struts. The beefy struts. Our ladder bag. Oh yep, new uh, 
still a collapsible ladder. I don't need. I don't, I'm not going to need the ladder because I use my. Um, once I get this on the F250, I'll use the steps and stuff. But um, still a high high density foam mattress by the look of it. Should be pretty comfy. Got our struts as well, and then got our uh, safety pole. This sucker here to uh, go up in the corners. Go up in the corner like that. Ladder bracket, so you can put that on the side of the tent if you want side access. You got a ladder bracket there. Mounts, bolts, lots of bolts. Wow. What's in here? Universal fitment bracket set. Uh, inside, you still got a um, carpeted roof liner. You still got your light and everything. Um, I think those canvas pockets look even bigger than the old ones. So you do have your uh, little channel up here that runs the wires and stuff now. The wires used to run down through the side of here. You got a little canvas channel they run in now, running down to your power box. You've got that new Bush Company power box down the end there. Midgy mesh. Uh, you got your condensation vent up here in the top. Midgy mesh here on the back. Take two, I just got stung by a bee. There's the stinger on my finger if it'll focus, which it probably won't. Bastard got me. So I'd say my suggestion if you don't have a forklift, um, is to maybe get some pallets and, and sit this thing up um, or on a table if you've got an outdoor, like a solid timber bench or something, just to be able to do all this work to it so you're not doing it on the ground. Um, so we've got to take, I've got the struts here. Dean said I've got to take these black bolts out, I think. I think that's where the struts go. And the uh, skinny side to the bottom. Okay, so I just took out the black um, Allen key bolts out of here. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Took them out. But before I took it all the way out so the nut didn't slide down, I just stuck that me, me Allen key in there and then just undid it with my fingers and then just um, held that in there while I picked up the strut, put the strut on, turned that in uh, so that way the, the nut doesn't roll back to here. Um, same situation on the bottom, same setup. Basically just took the black bolt out of there and then screwed the uh, strut in. Just got to tighten them up now and move on to the other side. Actually makes it really easy having that, having a winch hold uh hold the tent up like that it's, makes it really really easy to get these struts on right yeah so i've got uh both left hand and right hand side struts around the other side all done so from just looking at this tent it actually looks like it comes up slightly higher maybe than my current tent that i have on top of the f-250 so We'll have to uh, set them up both side by side and uh, com compare the angle, I guess. Um, but yeah, it actually looks looks slightly higher. But just checking out the fabrication work on like these custom made latches, like just this tent just screams quality. Very very nice. So you still do have your little pull down strap for when you're closing the tent um, to stop mine flapping around. I normally hook it to the the end of the spring poles just there. Just gonna let the winch off now and the tent should hold itself up. Perfect. Soft shackle. 
winch. Wind that back in. So I was actually lucky I didn't go full guns blazing on the old tent and put the new solar and everything up there I was going to put on there and so I'm going to do a full solar fit out on this tent in another video. Stuff here, I've got to kind of figure out how to get this onto the roof of the, the truck and then actually um, take the old tent off. So on the truck currently I've got those extrusions that run down across the top of the canopy um, which have the Z rails. So, yeah, I'd say I'm going to need some crossbars or I just got to figure it out. Definitely hit the nail on the head. So go into this whole new construction, all the extrusions now, um, the same style of canvas, same windows, same style of awning. Basically, everything that was so good about the Black Series they've now put into this. So there's just certain things about the Black Series that I love, the one that I have on my tent, and I still love it, and I am keeping this tent. Um, it's going to probably go on the 80 Series, that tent, and this tent will go on the F250. But I just, I love the rain fly. I love the simplicity of this tent. Just, it's just it's the best go-to tent, I reckon, that's on the market right now. Just, it just does what it does. Pops up, put your two spring poles in, and you're done. That's it. There's no messing around. I love that you can roll your windows down and still have some cross breeze air ventilation with the way the rain fly is designed. And I've mentioned all this in past videos when I've done rev the, the review on the Black Series that I have on my roof. So, but this is just tenfold, this thing. This thing is just epic. It's just awesome. So my Black Series tent on my F250, I was never going to upgrade that. Um, I love that tent. I've never had an issue with it. It's been a really good tent. I've done reviews and install videos and stuff on that tent already. Um, so giving you guys a walk around of unboxing this thing and putting it together and stuff and um, checking it out. But this tent is just... 2.0 of the black series so the one thing that i do love about this tent this new one is that it just keeps the same heritage that the uh the black series the old model did it just keeps its complete simplicity just in a new frame um the same amount of canvas and stuff so so what i can notice but just upgraded the whole structure of the tent to include all the extrusions and that new uh power box inside the new powder coating, just, it's so solid now. It is so reinforced, the way that it's all folded and welded, and it's just a really good tent. So that's the new extrusion just there underneath that you can see. So with this new tent, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to pull the old tent off, so I'll do a video on removing that and sticking this thing up there. Probably put that tent for now. Uh, the old Black Series one I have probably on the military trailer. So I'm going to sell the little um, black qu quickie pop top style tent that I have on that trailer um, and mount the old Black Series to it. And then put this new Bush Company tent on the F250. Put the new awning on that's coming um, and remount the shower tent and stuff like that. Get some brackets and things. So a little bit of work to do, but... Um, We'll swap these around and yeah, we'll have the old Black Series on the military trailer um, and then I'll have this new one on the F-250 and then eventually the old Black Series will go on to the 80 Series or what could be now 100 Series. Um, I looked at an 80 Series last week but the guy was just 25,000 bucks, just way out of my budget um, and I'm also looking at 100 Series at the moment. so. Yeah, I'd say I'm probably going to get a 100 series because the 80 series are just too many people are looking for them and they're just so hard to find at the moment. So might look for a 100 series instead. But yeah, still still looking. You guys have been sending me a few things. Um, not a lot, but I guess you're struggling to find anything as well. So yeah, we'll see what happens. And then if that all fails, we may have to look at a completely different vehicle for, for doing hard tracks and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, pack this up now and... Put it in the shed and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Righto, see you.